Here's another example on how to balance equations. Now this time we're going to throw in an extra step because sometimes the equations can get quite complicated like this and it's hard to keep track of all the elements on both sides of the equation. So let's read it first. Here we have hydrochloric acid that reacts with calcium carbonate and it yields calcium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide gas. All right. So sometimes it helps to keep track of everything by writing down all the elements that appear on the left side equation, all the elements that appear on the right side equation. So let's do that. So we have left, and we have the right side. So obviously these are the reactants, these are the products, but we have hydrogen on the left side, we have chlorine, we have carbon, or calcium I should say, not carbon, but calcium. We have carbon and we have oxygen. So we have five elements on the left side and hopefully we have the same five on the right side. So um, let's just put them in the same order. So we have hydrogen on the right side, uh, we have chlorine on the right side, we have calcium on the right side, we have carbon on the right side, and oxygen on the right side as well. All right, so for the equation to be balanced, we have, this, have to have the same number of each on the left side as we on the right side. So let's see how much we currently have on the left side. So if everything is one in front, and notice again I left enough room in front of each of the molecules to put in a number. Notice on the left side we have one hydrogen. Uh, chlorine, we have one chlorine here. Calcium, we have one calcium. Uh, carbon, we have one carbon. And oxygen, we have three. On the right side, for calcium we have one. Chlorine, we have two. Hydrogen, we have two. Oxygen, we have three. And carbon, we have one. Okay, so, looks like the equation is not yet, not yet balanced because we have twice as many hydrogen on the right, twice as many chlorine on the right, calcium is balanced, carbon is balanced, oxygen is balanced. So, we need to balance this equation. Irregardless of that, we're still going to follow the same procedure. It's always a good idea to look for something that appears once on each side of the equation and draw a conclusion from that. So for example, we have calcium that appears on the left side, we have calcium that appears on the right side, which means since we have only one calcium in this molecule and that calcium on, the, on that molecule, the numbers in front of these two molecules will have to be the same. So let's put a box there. This then indicates that these two numbers will have to be the same. All right, what about uh, carbon? We have one carbon here in this molecule and we have one carbon here in front of that molecule. That means the number of moles of those two molecules must be the same as well. Otherwise, carbon can never be balanced. So let's do that. So since there's only one carbon atom in this molecule and only one carbon atom in this molecule, they have to have the same number in front of them. So we draw a box there. So these two numbers must be the same, which means that those two numbers must be the same because we know those two numbers must be the same. So now we've established that whatever number we place here, here, and here, those three better be the same. All right, so we haven't put any numbers in yet, so nothing has changed yet in our accounting on the left and the right side. Okay, so we're still left with hydrogen and oxygen. With the oxygen, let's go there because we know that's currently balanced. So we have three oxygens here, and with the combination of those two molecules, we have three oxygens here. So let's use a different color for oxygen. So we can see that this oxygen here and those two, they must add up to the same. And currently, we have three times, or one times three, I should say. That's probably better. So for every mole of calcium carbonate, we have three moles of oxygen. Here, we have one times one plus one, one times two. Ready? We're putting down my product sign there. One times two. So that adds up to three, and this adds up to three. So we know that at this point, oxygen is balanced. So now we have one molecule left, or I should say one element left, which is hydrogen. Hydrogen only appears once here, and it appears once there, which makes it a little bit easier to look at or to work with. However, they're currently not balanced. You can see that here we have one hydrogen in this molecule, and there we have two hydrogens in this molecule, which means that whenever number we have here, we must have twice the number there, 
to make the hydrogen balance out. So let's put a little circle here and a little circle there, which means whatever number we put here, we must have twice as much over here. So let's start out by putting a 1 over here, which means if this is a 1, then this must be a 2. Now finally, is everything else balanced? So we multiply this by 2, that means we now have twice as many hydrogens and twice as many chlorines from this molecule right here, which means instead of uh, one hydrogen, we now have two hydrogens, and instead of one chlorine, we now have two chlorines. So now let's do our accounting again. We now have the same number of hydrogens, we now have the same number of chlorines, the same number of calcium item, uh, atoms, the same number of carbon atoms, and the same number of oxygen atoms. At this point, the equation would be balanced. All we have to do now in these boxes is put the number one down, one of these, one of these, one of these, and the equation is balanced. Wow. So again, why did I put ones there and not other numbers? Because we assume there to be one of these, one of these, and one of these. If we had to put in a 2 in any one of those boxes, we of course would have to put the corresponding 2 in the other two boxes. And then again, we would have to do some additional balancing out until everything was balanced. But in this case, since by making this change right here, everything became balanced in our accounting scheme, we can just put 1s everywhere else and we're good to go. There's our balanced equation. We need 2 moles of, hyd of, uh, of uh, hydrochloric acid and 1 mole of calcium carbonate to form one mole of calcium chloride plus one mole of, of water plus one mole of carbon dioxide. And there's our balanced equation.